Hey everyone, New England Gardening here. This is the bird box I have the camera in, and I left it in all winter. And I had the black capped chickadees nest in this and successfully hatch a brood. That's what they're called last year. But as you can see, uh, because of woodpecker and also I think the uh, house sparrows have been whittling the diameter of this hole larger and larger. And I just got online, and I think the preferable, the preferable size for that for a wren or black capped chickadee is like one and an eighth. So I have a hole drill. I was thinking of replacing this whole thing, but I think that's more work than I need to do. I'll just put a reducer on here, get a piece of wood, and just cover up cover up this larger hole here with a little panel with the one and a quarter hole drilled in it. And then hopefully I can get some more black cap chickadees in here. And hopefully the camera still works. But I just pulled out the beginning of a nest. I just got through risking life and limb on a ladder, adjusting some mesh screen over a gutter to prevent house sparrows building up a nest in a, in a gutter and then clogging up the drain and or the downspout and then it was com just completely pouring on top of the lean-to and filling that up with water last year so I'm not going to help contribute to the population of house sparrows so that's the project I need to do is to get a piece of wood and cut one and a quarter hole in it and cover up this larger hole and this is the one I have it says one and a quarter but it seems to measure one and an eighth for the outside diameter on that. But uh, I think that's close enough. At least it's definitely uh, too small, I believe, for a sparrow to get in. So I have to find a piece of wood to use. Okay, so I'm going to make this project a little bit more involved than I initially intended it to be. Uh, I took the door off, I just used a hacksaw to cut these pins that were used for a hinge on the top. And I have this piece of cedar sitting around. It's thicker, but if I use that, I guess it takes them longer to expand that hole to the other side. So I have to cut a piece that matches this, put a slot there, and drill the hole one and a quarter. So it's not shouldn't take too long. I'm going to rip this and then cut this piece to the right length. So this is a pretty old saw here, but it does the job. I'm going to use the old door here as a guide for the width. Just put that up against the blade and the fence. Lock that in. And I can rip this board here. All right, put your hearing protection on and your safety goggles. And it's probably a good idea to make sure the blade is at least the thickness of the board. Wow, that's a nice piece of cedar. That smells really nice. Kind of a waste for this door, but it's been sitting around for a while. 
Boy, that smells real good. So I think it's probably a better idea just to go ahead and drill the hole right now before I cut the board and have this little short board I have to clamp uh, to something in order to secure it. I've got this longer board, I can clamp it, and that way I can drill the hole and secure this board with some clamps, and then go ahead and cut it. Okay, the board's clamped down, and I mark the spot where I want the hole. Let's do this. Hope I have enough charge on my battery. Let's see if I let's see if I have a charged battery somewhere. Okay, so I have a charged battery. Hopefully, uh, I recently was looking at uh, buying some replacement batteries because uh, they're not holding as, uh, the charge as long as they used to. They're pretty old, and uh, looking at the prices, it almost seems like it's uh, a better deal just going ahead and buying a brand new drill that you, you know, batteries included instead of buying the individual battery again because they get pretty expensive. Let's finish this hole off here. Okay, now I can cut it to length. And what are we looking at here? Eight and three eighths. So I just realized it's probably a good opportunity to go ahead and make this notch here before I cut it. Instead of again trying to handle a, a small board here. And I can clean that up with the chisel. That looks pretty good. I don't know if the thickness on this um, is going to interfere with pivoting this to open it. Um, I guess the pivot point would be different. You know, I have the nails in here. Uh, I'll just put this in flush and then nail in two finishing nails into the side for the hinge. That should work. Okay, so I clamped that on to hold the door in place while I drill the two pivot holes here. So you can swing this door open and close to clean it. I'm going to use screws. actually hear a black cap chickadee in the background so must be another nesting hole someplace unless it's already spotted this one which I doubt it I just put it up ok 
Okay, let's see if this swings open. There we go. So hopefully that camera works in there. See that in there? So this is New England Gardening with a little nesting box maintenance. Ended up replacing the whole door instead of just uh, covering up the larger hole. Uh, one and a quarter inch hole and hopefully that'll attract another black cap chickadee or a wren. We'll see and hopefully that camera still works. Thanks for watching.